but so in all the time that I've made videos about like decorating my room or just doing things in general in my room which is a lot I've never done an actual room tour and that's because I've never actually finished or like finished decorating a room to the point where I could be like this is good like this is I'm set like I got pretty much everything like in order as I want it to be I've never been at that point in any of the rooms that you've seen on my channel so I've never done a room tour but even if it's not completely done I might as well still give you guys a tour of where I spend most of my time so so this is what you see when you first walk in you just do a quick little pan and then that's actually the whole room tour hopefully you guys liked it like subscribe smash the bell. oh my gosh I don't know about you guys but the first thing that I see when I walk in is definitely all these damn cords and wires and stuff yeah I actually do have a plan on resolving this issue so what I'm gonna do oh and then we we got the tr oh fuck I'm already doing it more disorganized than I thought I would do it okay hold up let me just go and order somewhat so right here we have the nightstand I actually want to replace this nightstand with something maybe like this so that it has like storage space so none of this has to be on top I don't like anything being on top of my nightstand it's just it looks cluttered I don't like it I'd rather put it in a drawer before anyone asked me where I got this from I have no idea. Azzy gave it to me years ago. No idea where she got this from. You don't want this anyway. It has no storage space. And then I got this lamp, actually, the one you saw maybe a couple videos ago. And then this bed frame right here. This was like three-ish hundred dollars, 300 and some change from Amazon. I'll link this one also. Because I've gotten questions of where this one is from, but it's from Amazon. It's a nice plush, uh, embro- Oh, uh, wait, no, what's it called? Not embroidered. Damn, I forgot what it's called. That's the headboard and the bed frame. It's like the same material or whatever. My pillow, what's it called? Setup is really disorganized looking. I want to get more of a color scheme going on. Maybe black and beige, something like that. That's what I'm thinking. But these are the pillowcases I actually rest my head on when I sleep and they're silk um, for hair purposes and stuff. That stuffed animal is from Tanil for the new people. That's my younger sister. She just randomly gave it to me one day, so I've kept it there ever since. Yep, that's the story with that. This wall art I actually thrifted. They're a matching set, but they kind of look very similar at a glance, but they are different. Um, and then we got the play button in the middle. For the longest time, I didn't even have it mounted. It was like on the floor in my closet. When I needed something to put on the wall, I was like, let me actually like mount it. And then I got some albums on the wall right there. We got um, Modal Soul by Nujabez. We got Whole Lotta Red. We got Details by Fru Fru. We got Max and Match by Odd Eye Circle. <laughs> we got Graduation. And then we got Beatopia. The thing is about those albums, a lot of them I don't even listen to often at all. I don't know if other people who have albums on their walls, like they listen to them on a weekly basis or a daily basis. I'm not like that. Like if a song comes in rotation out of the 400, not 400, out of the 4,000 something songs that I have in my liked library, then I'll listen to it sometimes, like if I'm in the mood to. But I don't listen to these albums like that all the way through. I don't listen to any album like that. Yeah, there are some I want to replace because I don't really care for them that much. But that particular month where I printed them out, I was like, oh, I really like this album. It really only lasted for that month. So I want to get, um, fuck, what's it called? I want to get In This World by Susquatch. I want to get, what's that one Estero album? Breath From Another. I really want to get Breath From Another by Estero and put that on the wall. Those could definitely replace a couple on there. Oh, I completely forgot about this. Okay, when you walk in, you see these monkey. Mangi? These manga panels right here. These are all from Uzumaki by Junji Ito because that's like real talk the only manga I've read. I've read six Junji Ito mangas and then what else? Like two from what's it called? Pluto? Two volumes of Pluto. But that's it. I haven't read all that much. But obviously the art is really cool. These three up here are my favorite. That's why I have them up here. Um, But it's all really cool stuff. They're actually from a coloring book that my sister got for me while she was at Walmart. She was like, oh shit. She didn't say that. She's like 30 13, but she was like, oh, Simi likes this. Can we get this for him? Yeah, that's how I got that. We're gonna go from this wall to this door, which is to the closet. This hook right here is to hang clothes for when I diffuse, not diffuse them, when I steam them, I'll just hang the clothes up, plug in the diffuser. Damn. I'll plug in the steamer right there, let it boil up, and then I'll steam the clothes whenever I deem fit. So the desk right here. I actually really like the desk. This desk is from Solos. They sent it to me for a video. It's actually a standing desk. Like I can raise it up and down, but I actually, Pretty much never do that. I really just sit, like I be sitting, bro. You know, I really just be sitting. Yeah, I mean, it can move up and down, like, but I generally don't because I don't want this lamp to, you know, hit the TV or anything. And I just don't stand much when I do work or sit here, so. But the option is still there if I see fit. I have my Xbox right here. I 
just about never use it. I did a couple days ago to play GTA for like 20 minutes or so. What I'm probably gonna do is just keep it in my closet and then the rare occasion that I do feel like playing it, I'll just bring it back out on the desk, but I'm not gonna keep it on there at all times like it is now, so. Also, it'll save on cords and stuff like that and minimize those. I got this cable hider for the TV. I do need to get one for that little portion right there, which I already have, I just need to put it up. You know, it doesn't make it invisible or anything, but I think it looks better than a black wire running down the TV or the wall, you know? And then I got a candle just from Walmart or whatever. If you wanna know what my room smells like, it's oak moss and amber by Huntington Home. Very true, very real. Oh, the TV. It's like a, I think it's 50 inches Samsung. That's about it. I don't know what model or anything, but it's just Samsung. The majority of the time I use this, I use it for YouTube. Not much of the stuff I watch is on Netflix. It's on like other sites that are definitely legal. Don't illegally stream content. I just remembered, I've only done it a couple times because part of me prefers watching movies and stuff on my laptop because the screen is closer and I can just use, like connect my earbuds and be good. But screen sharing from my laptop to the TV is actually very easy. So I might have to use that more often. Okay, now where I was gonna get to earlier, that's the trash can by the way. I wanna get something like this instead so that you don't just see the trash there and the trash bag. I don't like either of those being visible. So I'm gonna get something different. But here, here we are under the desk that looks really, really bad. I already kind of know what I'm gonna do to resolve this issue. I'm gonna put this up right Right at the bottom of the desk. So once I do that and then some further adjustments and you know, stuff like that, I know what I'm doing. Trust me, trust me. In a couple of videos from now, there will be no visible cables from most angles under my desk. So that just really drags it down for me. This is the mirror that I have. I actually, there's this one at Walmart that I've been stalking for like a month or no, maybe like a year at this point. Every time I see it there, I'm like, damn, should I buy it? But I'll be procrastinating purchases. So I've yet to get it. But this is really nice mirror that's slightly bigger, better presentation than this one and I would actually mount it up on the wall so it looks better. The more things that you can get off the floor in your room in general, it tends to look better. So I plan on doing that in the near future. Also, I just thought, this chair, I've had this for like two years now. It's It gets the job done. You know, it, it gets the job done. Do I like it? It's all right. You know, but I'm probably gonna spend like a cool 150 somewhere around there just to get a decent like ergonomic office chair I want armrests really bad. I really want armrests. It's not that big of a deal But I would like to upgrade. Okay. Also the reason there's no pad on it I don't know if you noticed there's no pad on this chair because someone I won't say who <laughs> Someone got back from working out and then they were in my room talking to me and for some reason they were possessed to sit in my chair with like gym ass which is actually insane. So then I was like, oh damn. If you know me, you know that's not getting out of my head. So I was like, okay, I gotta wash the pad or whatever. You know, I had to, I took the actual cushion out of the thing and I washed it, but I couldn't get it back in right. So now I've just been sitting bare ass. Ass to plastic, it's been crazy. It's not bad though. It's not uncomfortable to sit here, but I think I've also coped a little bit. Anyway, all that to say, I plan on getting a nice ergonomic office chair. I'll probably get it in white, I think, to match with the bottom of, you know, the table, the lighter wood on here I think it would complement really well um I was about to show you guys the desk like as if you forgot I also want to get this shelf thing from Ikea sells it but Wayfair also does I'll compare prices and see which one I want to get you know I just want to get that for more storage space because there are things that I would like to have close to my desk that are in my closet now because that's the only really storage area I have in my room um but I'd like it to be closer like my hard drives uh camera batteries like my lighter for my candle right there oh like I could put my Xbox in there and my controller like you know, there are things that I like to have close by my desk that I would um, keep in there. So I plan on getting that pretty soon. But it's like 90 something dollars. I'm surprised how much furniture costs. I think I told you, but that simple headboard and bed frame is like $360 or something. It's very sturdy, very stable, doesn't make a sound. You know, the headboard is comfortable too, so I can't complain about anything. This is it for the actual main room. When it comes to the album covers, I think I just want to have them in a more standard, you know, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. You know, the pattern they're in now is a bit much and a bit scattered. And I think I want to consolidate them and make them look more uniform, you know? Also, where I got the posters from, I got the frames from Amazon. I'll link those down below. And the site that I use to print them is posterburner.com, I believe. Uh, I found it off Reddit. Because a lot of people on Reddit were saying that it was good, so I trust their opinion. Uh, and they did turn out nice. Just make sure to upscale the album covers before you print them so they're good quality. On to the closet right here. 
because I do have a walk-in closet and I utilize the space for a lot of stuff. So, so when you open this up and turn the light on, you see this right here. Um, I don't really know where to start actually. This right here is all my outerwear pretty much. That's what that is. I don't feel like doing an entire closet tour. So what you see is what you get. If you guys want to see like a closet tour, even though the clothes I wear, it's not anything special at all. But this isn't the video for that. So that's just the outerwear that I have right here. I only have three belts. You know, a brown one, a black one, and then this 100% authentic Amazon special tactical type of belt. Those are all my towels. This is a Zelda poster that my mom got actually for my brother, but I already got him a Zelda poster. So he was like, you can have this one. Or I asked for it and he was like, yeah, you can have that one. And I haven't done anything with it yet. I don't know where to put it. Um, oh my God. That was loud. Okay. And then we're going to move over here. Those are some books that I haven't really read. This is just some manga that I have. Or some. This is just about all, actually. I uh, wanted to. Yeah, six. So those are the six Junji Ito mangas that I have. Plus two other books on top, which I haven't read because they're actual books. This is my steamer right here. That's a bonsai tree. Okay. This is a bad angle. I'm not doing it justice. There we go. That's the bonsai tree right there. I actually should put this out somewhere. I don't know where, though. Those are just towels right there. This, I don't know, this is just random stuff that I have in storage in my closet. So I have, I don't want to take everything out, but I have like my laptop case right here, my camera bag, a tripod, a duster right here. I have Madden, like an old Madden game. What is it? Seven or 18, Madden 18. If anyone wants to hop on that, you know? Oh, this is the other cable hider thing that I mentioned. I do have it, so I just have to put it up on the wall. Some notebooks, a softball for rolling. Yeah, just miscellaneous things like that. Whew, this lighting is insane. I'm not, oh my. Okay, I'm gonna show you what the camera's on right now. It's this. So first we got hats. This one reminds me of Clementine's actually, but it's a San Diego baseball hat. I, I don't know the team. I don't really wear these ever because I don't wear headwear at all, so. But I should start, considering now that I have locks and I actually can wear headwear and stuff. Those are books that I got from the library. There's this one and then the sociology book. Very true. I need to read those, actually. Uh, then we got some lotion right here. I just keep it right here so I can get out of the shower, walk in here, put some lotion on, and we'll be good. Then these are the, these are just the colognes that I have. A lot of them are from Scentbird. Like, the majority of them are. And I still have a lot of them because they last a long time for me personally. And then this is like a little jewelry stand that I I got from my sister like years ago i don't wear anything that's on here i'm gonna be real because a lot of it's gold and i haven't worn gold recently at all so what you see me wearing now is pretty much what i wear on a daily basis this is from etsy this is amazon i think and this is from etsy as well i don't wear anything over there i stick to what i wear right now and then call it a day i'd like to get another bracelet for this wrist though just to even it out. This is the bag that I wear pretty much every day. I got it from Amazon. It is a fanny pack, but I wear it like around my body, which if you watch my videos, you've seen before. And the reason I have that is because I don't like, what's it called? I don't like putting things in my pockets ever, unless it's like my phone, that's it. So I just have this. Oh, what's in it actually? This is like my EDC, basically. I got my case for my retainers in there. Got my wallet in here. I got a mask just in case, like I still got to wear one of those somewhere. Uh, what else, what else, what else? My chapstick and stuff is on my desk but i should just put a different one that i have in that bag and then i have some eye drops for my contacts then i have some hand sanitizer that i need to re-up on because i'm running out nail clippers two spare contacts this reminds me of one really like super niche video that no one is gonna no one's gonna remember but it's like some video like eli shows his batman stuff and then i watched this video religiously when i was like eight or so but this guy has like he's a big batman fan and he has this utility belt and he had a video where he just showed everything that was in it. I would watch that all the time. And that's kind of what this feels like in a weird way. No one gives a fuck. Over here, we got, what is this? This is like a mineral multivitamin, right? Yeah. I got pencils, pens. I got a notepad, notebook, stuff like that. And then this jar of coins, which just sits. Because I don't even pick up coins and put them in. Like, it just sits there. It's just there, you know? This is the shoe collection. This is the whole thing these are the beat converse that i used to wear a lot that i don't wear at all ever now and these are the new converse of which i wear every day and they're still in such good condition it's actually crazy and then i got some air max 90 somethings air max plus is something i honestly don't really know how to wear those so i don't wear them that often but i'm glad to have them because i think they would go really well with like some black pants or something like that and then i got these shadow ones that my sister got me not the 13 year old one actually uh, as he got me these for my 17th birthday 
think it was my 17th birthday when I got these. And then I just got a pair of running shoes, which I never wear because I don't run. And then I got another pair of training shoes, which I don't really wear either because I just wear these to the gym. I really wear those for everything. I do have a couple pairs of shoes that I have in mind that I want to get. Nothing crazy because I'm obviously not into shoes like that. But I feel like when it comes to dressing, like putting together a good outfit, the shoes are the least important part, which I think some people would disagree with, but I don't think the shoes are that important. I think everything else is. Also right here, I just got a trash can, a bigger one, uh, as opposed to that small one right there. And then I just got the laundry basket right there. Oh, this right here is like a dresser that I got for my birthday a while ago. It's on Amazon. If you just, bro, just look up gray fabric dresser or something, you'll find it, okay? But anyways, yeah, I just keep different clothes in there. Uh, I can fit just about all my clothes outside of this, obviously. I can fit most of my clothes in there, so that's what I use that for. I also have this dresser. This is a junk drawer. This is hygiene stuff, and this is, like, hair stuff that I've never used, really. I just make my little concoction of hair products and oils and put that in my hair every day. I forgot to mention, my bed is a queen size, and it is memory foam. I would have no idea that it would take me this long to talk about a room that's relatively small and doesn't have a lot going on, but I can ramble, so it is what it is. That's basically the room. Uh, comment things that you want to know, like where it's from if I didn't mention it, because I'll answer that. Give me suggestions that you would like to, that you think would look good in my room, you know. You guys always provide quality input. I had a sunset lamp, but I would put it on my desk, but the frequency from my TV remote would get met. Oh my God, okay. It doesn't fucking matter. I do have LED lights behind my TV and behind my headboard, but I don't really put them on. I'm not a huge fan of how they look. They're not bad, but I like the more natural looking lighting from the lamps and stuff. Also, I never turn on the ceiling light because that looks abysmal. If you have a room at all, never turn that on. Get a lamp or something. Never turn on the ceiling light. It looks bad. I think that's everything.